Welcome to this Easy Ads tutorial. In this video, you'll learn what to expect after launching a funnel. Here's what we'll cover in this video. First, you'll learn how the meta review process works. Second, you'll learn about the different campaign phases. Third, you'll learn how to measure your funnel's performance. Finally, you'll learn how to optimize your results. Let's start. Right after you click on that Create button to either create a new funnel or update an existing one, your ads go through what is called a review. All ads, regardless of how they're created, go through a meta review. Whether you create an ad from inside the app or from your meta ads manager, or even if you boost a page post, your ads will still go through a review. This means that meta's automated systems will check the content of your ads as well as the destination of your ad to check if they are in violation of their advertising policies and commerce policies. These systems often show up as bot traffic, which you may notice on on your website analytics as traffic from countries that were not included in the destination of your ads. Don't worry about this, this is just meta checking your website to see if it's fit for advertising. You will not be charged for this traffic. Now the review process can last anywhere from 5 minutes to 24 hours, but oftentimes it can take up to 72 hours for your ads to pass the review, as sometimes Ads are reviewed by humans as well. Keep in mind that ads can be reviewed again at any time, even while they are live. So the main takeaways here are that all ads, regardless of how they're created, are reviewed by Meta before they're live. Meta checks ads for compliances with its ad and commerce policies. The review process occurs right after you publish an ad or edit it. Ads are reviewed by both automated systems and humans. It usually takes anywhere between 5 minutes and 24 hours for ads to be reviewed, and sometimes even more. Right after you publish a campaign, you'll notice that it goes into a learning phase before it becomes active. Sometimes the same campaign can go into what is called a learning limited phase. Here's what every phase means. According to Meta, the learning phase is the period when the delivery system still has a lot to learn about an ad set. During the learning phase, the delivery system is still exploring the best way to deliver your ads, so performance is notably less stable and the cost per result is usually bad. In order for an ad to exit the learning phase, it needs to get around 50 optimization events since it lasts significant edit. So significant edit could be anything from changing your audience or changing your ad or the ad copy, etc. While an optimization event could be either a page view or an add to cart or a purchase. Since every single stage of the advertising funnel in Easy Ads optimizes for a different optimization event, your ads have a higher chance of exiting the learning phase sooner. If your ads fail to exit the learning phase, they will go into what it's called a learning limited phase. This usually happens when you over edit your ads or create too many ads with similar settings or when you use an unrealistic budget for your ad campaign. To sum up, before your campaign becomes active, it goes through the learning phase and possibly the learning limited phase. The learning phase happens when you create a new ad or make a significant edit to an existing one. Performance is unstable and cost per result is usually bad. Here, the ad delivery system has a lot to learn about the best people to deliver your ads to. While the learning limited phase happens when you over edit your campaign during the learning phase or when you set unrealistic budget, the ad set is not getting enough optimization events to exit the learning phase. Here are a few takeaways to avoid landing your ads in the learning limited phase. First, set a reasonable budget for your funnel, taking into consideration the bidding competition that varies from one location to another. For example, countries like the US or the UK or Germany have a very high competition. Second, avoid over-editing your ads while they are in the learning phase. Third, do not create multiple ads that target the same audience. The best way to measure your campaign's performance is by watching your CTR, otherwise called a click-through rate. 
The CTR or the click-through rate measures the number of clicks that your ad gets against the number of times your ad is shown. In other words, answers the question of, out of all of the people that viewed my ad, how many people did actually click on it? Click is what separates cold audiences from warm ones, as a click can signify a great degree of interest in your products or your offer. That's why your click-through rate is very important to measure. On your Easy Ads dashboard, you can find your CTR under each funnel stage. Here's an example of an anonymous user who only launched his campaign for only two days and already getting a CTR of 5% on awareness and 7 or more on the other stages. I can also see that this anonymous user already got a sale, which is great. Taking into consideration that results from the learning phase are unstable, you will need to wait at least 7 days in order to be able to measure your CTR accurately. To sum up, the CTR equals the clicks divided by impressions. The benchmark for CTR is 2%. If your CTR is below 2%, it means that either your products are overly saturated or your funnel settings are incorrect. Here, it's best to create a new campaign with better product images, better ad copy, and better audience settings. If your CTR is above 2% and you're still not getting any results, it means that your ads are actually working. People are interested in your products and they click on the ad to get them. But once they land on your website, they don't purchase for some reason. This means that either your website, your on-site user experience, or product pricing. Here, it's recommended that you pause your campaign or any other ads that you have going and focus on improving your website instead. Here are your main takeaways. First, the CTR or click-through rate is the key performance indicator to measure your campaign's success. The cost per click can also be helpful in determining how competitive a niche is. You need to have a professional website, competitive product pricing, and a delightful user experience before you start promoting your website. If your CTR is lower than 2%, you need to focus on your ads and your audience. If your CTR is above 2%, you need to focus on your website. Now, assuming that your CTR is below 2% and you need to improve your campaign, here's what you need to do. First, return to your Easy Ads dashboard and click on Settings. Then click on Audience Targeting. The first thing that you need to make sure of is that your audience is not too broad and that your estimated reach is good. Good rule of thumb is keeping your estimated reach to 10 million for every $10 USD of your budget. Then make sure that your age range and gender are suitable with your ideal audience. Finally, make sure to select a location and a few interests. The engaged shopper's interest is a perfect interest to add for every niche. Then, make sure that the daily budget is equivalent to $10 USD or more. Finally, it would be best to make sure that your product images and ad copy is also in top shape. Once you're done, click on Update My Ads. And that's it for today's video. In the next video, we'll talk more about the ideal campaign settings, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.